So I want to talk a little bit about bulk write operations. Most of our examples we'll be doing and have done already involve where we do a single document write, insert one document, update one document, etc. So, but it's also possible to do a batch of, of these writes at once, such as a bulk insert of multiple documents all in one operation. Uh, so we're going to talk about that a little bit. Uh, one notice it's perfectly fine in a big loop to insert, you know, 10,000 documents and they just get fired off as individual requests in order. But uh, sometimes when you're trying to optimize for performance, you may want to group these into a single request to the server cluster. And that's the idea here. There are two basic forms of bulk write requests that you can send to the server cluster, um, either ordered or unordered. Ordered meaning that the documents or operations to be applied should be done in order, in a well-defined order from first to last, and unordered meaning here's a set of write operations I need done, do them all, and it's not order dependent, doing them any order you want. So unordered should be used when you can as it's more efficient. You, know, you imagine in a sharded cluster, if the cluster receives your batch write operations and a set of them, if they're unordered, they can be fired off in parallel to multiple shards as applicable. But if they're ordered, that cannot be done. It has to be serialized, basically. So the unordered can be much faster. That said, though, if you had a bunch of writes you were going to do individually in order, the regular ordered bulk operation would be incrementally faster than just doing it the traditional one-by-one -one way if you're waiting for acknowledgement on each one and thus making them ordered. So both are useful things. And let's now flip over to the shell and I'll show you how to do these in the Mongo shell, the administrative shell. In each driver for each programming language, there's a facility for doing uh, the same basic type of thing. So the demo we're going to do here will just be with the shell syntax kind of things you would be doing if you're doing DBA operations and, and so forth. You'd probably be using the shell. So we're going to do a little demo here, but just for reference, the uh, you can find the documentation on bulk over here at the website. So let's go ahead and do one. So in the shell, at least, the way you can set these up is you can build up a bulk or batch of write operation for form incrementally, and that object we build up then is then given to the server as the batch of things to do. So what I've done here is I've called this initialize unordered bulk operation to kind of create one of these things. The collection we're working on is called items. So at this point, we've just got this, this sort of working object on the shell side. Nothing has gone to the server yet. Now, if you wanted to do an ordered set, you would just say initialize ordered bulk op instead of unordered here. That would be the only difference. And uh, then we'll just build up a list of the things we want to do before we fire that off to the server. So for example, if we want to do a few inserts, we could then add them in here. And just to be clear, there's nothing in items yet. So here, I've specified that uh, one of the things in this batch is going to be this insert here of this document. And once again, we haven't done any work on the server yet. Now let me uh, add a couple more. So I've added a couple more to our batch. And now I'm ready to execute the batch and basically send it to the server for execution or the cluster, if you want to think of it that way. So this will fire off the batch to the cluster to be ran. As you see up above here, we did say unordered. So the operations can be done in any order or in parallel, if that makes sense, when in a sharded system. So let's give this a try. And there we get our result back. So we see here that we've inserted three documents uh, and there are no errors. Um, so uh, of course, as this is a batch, it could be that some of the writes succeed and some don't. For example, imagine if on a particular doc it would have caused a duplicate key error. Perhaps its underscore ID field was specified and was already in use. On that one, you would get back an error, but the other ones might succeed. So one of the nice things with this batch API to doing write operations is you'll get back information on the success or failure of each individual write we performed. Okay. Now we can take a look and just see if the items inserted are there and they are. Let's do one more quick example where we do some things that aren't just inserts. So, and this time I'll just use initialize ordered bulk operation just to show how one would type that out. Although for demonstration purpose, I don't think my example is necessarily going to require ordering. So now we'll add some things in there that we want to do. So um, 
Let's quickly look at what was there already so we can add some things that are meaningful. Okay, now let's add some write operations to this bulk operation that we want to perform. So let's add one where we want to remove items. So here we're going to add with the batch syntax in the shell, what you do the first thing is we specify the criteria to match the items. And then secondly, we specify what we want to do. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to find item equals one, two, three, ABC one, two, three, and then we're going to delete them. So we'll add that to our batch of items, things to do. Uh, maybe then we want to do uh, remove something else, like remove that. And then maybe we want to do an update. So let's do an update. So here we're going to find documents where this criteria is met and we're going to update them. We're going to add one to points and dollar sign inc. We cover that operator, which is update operator in a separate section of a separate lesson, but uh, that's what it's going to do. Okay. So that's my batch of write operations I want to perform. So let's go ahead and execute that. And here's our results. So one modified and two removed and no errors reported back. And now if we query the collection, we'll see that we only have one document left because the other two were, we deleted up here in our batch. So there's only one left and we did increment points by one there.